This is Rodolfo Liton, author of the book titled I Took Panama, which is based on the life of Philippe Bonovarilla, a man who invented Panama according to journalist Eric Severade, so he could complete the Panama Canal. Very few people remember that Nicaragua was the chosen place by the United States to build its interoceanic canal to facilitate communication between the east and west coasts of that country. Since the mid-1800s, Nicaragua had been favored by the American government and not Panama. The year that the French Panama Canal Company uh, went bankrupt, the maritime company of the Nicaragua Canal went into operations. Unfortunately, that company went bankrupt as well after a few years, and this was viewed by Bruno Varilla as an opportunity to convince the U.S. to change to Panama. Using his uh, friend Francis Loomis as a resource to help him connect with influential Americans, he was able to get invited by the Commercial Club of Cincinnati to make a speech in favor of the Panama Canal. Harley Thomas Proctor, son of the founder of Proctor & Gamble, was instrumental in getting Bruno Varilla invited to the Commercial Club of Cincinnati and facilitated more presentations in the United States in favor of the Panama Canal. These presentations led to a contact with Senator Mark Hanna, who originally pro uh, preferred Nicaragua, but then changed his mind and became an ardent uh, promoter of the Panama Canal in the U.S. Senate, which at the time preferred Nicaragua uh, rather than Panama. At the time, there was a tragedy in the uh, island of St. Pierre, Martinique, uh, where uh, thousands of people in St. Pierre were killed by the uh, volcano Mount Pelé. Uh, using this strategy and linking it to Nicaragua's volcanoes, Filippo Novarilla decided that the best way to uh, eliminate uh, support for Nicaragua was to um, present it as a dangerous country because of its volcanoes. And so he used this stamp, the uh, Asenjo emission, which was made in different colors and denominations, to cause fear in the U.S. Senate um, with the message that Nicaragua is too volcanic and could present a dangerous place to build the Nicaragua Canal. He took a stamp and put it on a piece of paper and sent this document to all of the uh, senators which were going to vote for either Nicaragua or Panama. And this resulted in a change in votes where uh, Panama was selected with the voting of the Spooner Bill, which allowed the United States to uh, build in Panama. Uh, this is a stamp dealer in Costa Rica where I was able to find uh, original stamps. This is Don Minor, located in San Jose, and he had some original stamps of, from 1903. I use these stamps uh, to thank the presenters of my book in Panama. This is Irina Ardila, the presenter of my book in Panama. Uh, definitely a very interesting story about this stamp, uh, which is narrated in the book I Took Panama. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you uh, get a chance to uh, read the book. It is available on Amazon.com.